Hello YouTube, we're back with another video for JPAT TV and today I'm going to show you how to do a long radius miter 90. And for today's video we're going to use the 8 inch tiger knife. We're going to use our paper scissors, something to write with, the small tiger knife, measuring tape, and our square or whatever ruler you want to use. So first step we're going to do to do our miter 90, we're going to measure the throat and we're going to measure our shoulder. Now if you have like pieces of extra material like you see here I have these two little pieces it's kind of just to help me measure and get get the correct measurement right here and also on the back so if you got some extra pieces of material just cut you some little like two inch straps and then so it'll help you you'll see uh, when I measure how it helps so first thing we're gonna make uh, measure our throat and you know, measure and it measures six and a quarter. So from this point across to this point, measure six and a quarter. Now let's get our measurement for the shoulder. So try to stay around the middle. You're gonna measure from this end across to the other end, and it measures about twenty-one and a quarter. As you can see here, I have the measurements for the throat and the shoulder, which is six and a quarter and 21 and a quarter. So for your uh, miters, when you do the throat, uh, when you divide your miters, try to leave them a little bit above an inch. That way your, your throat miters is not so small. And then in the back, try not to leave them more than like four and a half or five inches. So I believe that our best way to divide these should be into five miters. So if you divide a six and a quarter to five miters, you're looking at one and a quarter for the throat. And you're looking at four and a quarter for the shoulder. And that's per miter. So we're gonna divide it into five miters. So when you uh, multiply four and a quarter times five it should be 21 and a quarter and an inch and a quarter times five should be six and a quarter one other thing you got to do is also get the measurement of the pipe that you're installing so for this measurement we got about 31 next thing we're gonna do is uh, you're gonna get a piece of paper or a piece of cardboard uh, just to make it easier for me I'm gonna use a piece of cardboard but uh, from here, we're going to get the pattern for our uh, miters. So you, you remember the measurement of the pipe was 31. So you're going to get a piece of cardboard or a piece of paper. That's half of the, the measurement. So right here should be 15 and a half. So with your piece of cardboard and your straight edge or your uh, square, what we're going to do is we're going to draw a straight line going down. And that will represent the middle of our miter. Now that we uh, divided the piece of cardboard into two, we're going to use this side to be our throat and this side will be our shoulder. So right here we're going to divide an uh, inch and a quarter into two, which should be five eighths on each side of the line. And on this side we're going to divide four and a quarter into two, which should be two and an eighth to each side. Now using our, our straight edge, we're going to draw a line to connect these two marks and a line to connect these other two marks. So now we have a pattern already made. So using our paper scissors, we're just going to cut it out.
now using our pattern we're ready to mark our miters so one thing I recommend you doing is uh, draw a straight line on your pipe that way you know where to start uh, your miters every time and then you're just gonna trace it Once you have all your miters marked, all you got to do is cut down. Make sure you use a big enough knife. If not, uh, you're going to cut all the way down and then you're going to flip the pipe over and then you're going to cut the rest off. So uh, you're going to follow each line and we're going to get our five miters out. Once you have your miters cut, uh, if, you, if there's any rough edges or any cleanup you got to do, just uh, clean up with your scissors kind of like around the paper or with your knife around like rough edges on the insulation. And now we're ready to install our miters. So there's our 90. So also uh, once you put on all your uh, miters, you might have to do a little wiggling around to kind of get them to look straight. So also here, like I said before in my other videos, I don't have the vapor barrier with me like CP11, but uh, that's something you're going to have to do to every seam. So all these seams will have to be sealed with uh, your CP11 or sometimes you use glass fab. And, um, make sure everything looks white. Also stay tuned for our next video because there I'm going to show you how to metal jacket this 90 using gores. If you learned something here today and you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and share. Also, if you have any suggestions or any questions about the video, please leave it in the comment section below and I will try to respond as soon as I can. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you'll be notified every time we post a new video on the channel. Thanks for watching.